Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our here adventure within Final Fantasy XIV. Just to finally beat uh, Digimon Survive. So I was like, yeah, why shouldn't I head back in and do things? I just need to see. No, not hunting log. Oh, I guess, yeah, just these are... Just want to make sure. Is there like a proper... Like, quest tab, I assume there is. But I'm dumb. Probably duty. Journal? So yeah, I have allowances. I wonder what allowances is. Let's see. Because last time we did go and, like, do a decent amount of things. Oh, yeah. There isn't, like, any other quests to do here. There is a dungeon, but I don't think that's, like, actually useful for me. Just want to make sure there isn't anything. Because right now, we just need to do, like... Now we'll take a look at these properly. There is Speak With at the Skylift. Swift Perch, which is a bit away. Report to Axe Master, and then once again the, oh hey, like, community houses that I can't get because I am a free-to-play individual person. Hmm. So probably go here and, I guess, check out that because uh yeah all right then off we go to report to axe master wunzu in at the marauders guild we just need to which it seems to be the fastest way would be to head up there then off we go Also kind of odd that, like, all the music just disappeared. Is that normal? It doesn't feel normal. Also should probably make use of the E and Q keys for movement. For drifting. Again, the music just going away is very odd. Feels like I entered into an alternate universe of doom. And now the music has come back. Yay. No longer is the doom. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, will, I have no idea what that was. What oddity that doth be. It just felt weird. Gonna quickly go through these to make sure that I'm not a fool. Because I am a scattered brain fool sometimes. Ever so slightly. Everybody has carbuncles but me. Such is the way of life. Would be hilarious if I came through here and just randomly the bridge was up. I don't even think this is the type of bridge that would do that. But hey, you never know. This is a fantasy world. It could be like, screw you. Bridge, go f up. So that people can't cross. Or it could end up like that one guy said and it would fall into the ravine. Bridge fall. Kill everybody. Well, it's... This is on my list of kill, so why not? I, at least I assume it's on my hunter log. Yep. Also, I realize I've discovered how to uh, quick toolbar my second toolbar. I have to hold control. I'm sure that it said somewhere how to do that, but I am fooled. 
and probably didn't read. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Do some hunting for the hunting log, apparently. I have no idea what the hunting log actually is. Who knows? Let's see. Hunting log, hunting log, hunting log should be over here. Hunting log. Can I turn these in somewhere? I need to murder bees and wild dodos. Apparently that quest version didn't count. That's sad. I think I missed my, uh, my, yeah, I missed my intro. Not intro. Missed my directional entrance. Oh, each one has their own quest. Well, not quest, but hunting log. Interesting. I wonder if you just get the money by killing them or if you have to turn them in. It just says complete and not, like, ready to turn in, so I do not know. Hmm. I wonder if it says... It does say... Hmm. Middle, lower, middle. We're in lower. Seder, would you say? Maybe if I do that. Raise it back up. You know what? Let's be silly. Let's go kill. So let's go hunting a little bit. Why not? Let's do a hunting log stuff. Fate discovered. I have my own fate. It's hunting time. Who cares about clobbering time when it's hunting time? We're out to hunt bees. <laughs> Imagine if that was like actually a sport in the real world. People like... Well, imagine if it was like the uh, endangered species, like, I want to hunt a white rhino because killing something unique and precious gets me off. And what if you applied that to frickin' bees? I just think the idea of that is hilarious. Terrible, but hilarious. Click your free damage buttons. They're free damage. And the best thing is, I think... And, th and that was a level up. Hilarity. But I think, yeah. So yeah, now we'll head back, turn in the quest, since we have a quest to turn in. And then from there, we'll go to middle Noskia, however you say, and do things proper. Yeah, let's, let's try to work in our hunting log into things. That's hilarious. It's like it actually has controller there. But yeah, let's do more hunting. Again, hilarious. It's just like you gained. Also, that's one thing. I don't think this game has like any. Oh, you have to assign diddly d. Like uh, assign things. They just go up. Imagine if you had to. For every single, like, class and job and stuff in this game, imagine if every, for every level that you got in it, you had to <laughs> apply your own, like, strength, dexterity, intelligence stats. Considering that you can play all the classes. That, I think, would be a little overkill. <laughs> it's just something I realized. This game, uh is very, like, streamlined in that aspect, where you don't have to micromanage that m part of the character. Yet. <laughs> Yet, I say. So you want to be an armor? It seems those are still locked. 
Hunt board. Let's go to the hunt board and see if anything happens, just to make sure that I'm not, like, dumb. The smith. I have no idea what that is. And once we get to the hunting board, I'll take a proper look. Yeah, let's just take a look at the hunting board. Walking by all the far more powerful characters who could crush me. Hmm, interesting. So that's completely something different. Good to know. Still love that the song plays as an echo. Yep, well, there's just a freaking portal. You know, normal Final Fantasy stuff. Ignore the portal of doom in the middle of the world. There is, there is no Warren Bossing say. There is no portal to hell in Limza Laminza. Yeah, we still can't be an armor. But I want to be an Omni Crafter. Who knows? Maybe that's something that free to plays can't do. Doubtful, but you never know. I think it's just like, ah, you have to do like these tin quests or whatever I read. It's something. I don't know precisely. My dude, I did it. So, you have shattered the shells of the Megala crabs and saved the life of a child into the bargain. Thus does our violent craft prove its merit. Well done, Neom. Though no longer a threat to the farmers, you should know that it is unusual for such crabs to be found so near the stead. By all accounts, the creatures were ousted from their usual feeding grounds by a more fierce beast. The beast of which I speak is a known terror in the lands of Lanoskia, ever seeking to expand its territory. And that boy's parents were but two of the many victims to fall to its rampages. It is a threat that must be dealt with ere long ago. Do thoughts of vengeance flit through your mind, Neon? Nurture those urges, but do not yet act upon them. This monstrosity is far beyond your present skills. If you would answer the lad's cry for revenge, then you must grow stronger. Become the raging behemoth this challenge demands. Alright, we're gonna get a bronze war axe, which is uh, worthless to me, worthless to me. Fingerless gloves. Boots. I'm like, well, it is a lower level, and I did do some, like, other quests. But yeah, that's, none of this seems good to me. I shall take the elegant in peace. Thank you. And, oh, no, the, these gloves are actually good. Wernzion wishes to speak with you regarding your ongoing training. Neon, I have gathered what information I could concerning the beast that young sire bade you slay. The tales name this creature Kujata. Those who have witnessed Kujata in the terrifying flesh also call him the Stampeding Mountain. Such is his immense size and bulk. Again, I will not seek to dissuade you from claiming vengeance for the boy's parents. In fact, I encourage it. But atop of this lumbering colossus, you must first become his equal in strength and ferocity. As a single step towards that distant goal, I send you into the blind iron mines. We have had, hard wor we have had word that folk are falling prey to the claws of the local Galagos. It is your task to protect the weak from these unruly creatures. Learn to channel the rage inside you, and let your axe blade sing in righteous slaughter. Neat. And, uh... Damn it, it's in Lower Naskia. Guess I could, uh, go to the middle. Ah, uh, but no. Gonna have to go through the middle to get there quicker. 
and we'll just have to see. We'll go there, do that, do the hunts, which will probably lead me there, but it's to the sky lift, which I think might take us to a different thing. Let's see. And let's go and find a uh, journal. Sky high. If the Skylar focus, I'll park cargo over the workers there have a little time to do your task. Make your way to area and speak with the head of operations. Let's see how much we get fire shards. Neat. Sure. Yeah. All of them are around the same level anyway, so neat. Let's go do Wake of Destruction then. To the Wake of Destruction. Doot. Doot. Off we go to murder Galagos. What shall have we even killed Galagos before? I do not recognize the name, but I do at the same time. It is one of those names that it feels familiar, but I just do not know. Oh yeah, there's sprint. Increase the movement speed, but not in combat. I should use that more. I'm dumb. The entire time, I'm like, I want a... Probably also. Uh, let's see. I think, I, yeah, I need to go down. I believe. Be very dumb. I just, I have a hard time managing these maps. Lift attendant, take me down. Uh, wish I could read better. Uh, to the Bulwark Hall, I guess. And then we'll look at the map there and see how things are. I don't know how to read maps good. And I should use the run button more. It's been there this entire time. And I just haven't been using it. Because I am a fool. And yes, this seems to be a proper place. I think. Yep, the Zephyr Gate. Huzzah. Alrighty. Open up you again. We'll head down there. So that we can properly do the thing. Keeping an eye out for anything that can be slaughtered for hunting guide. Not hunting guide. Hunting log. We've already murdered a lot of these. I don't think we've murdered any lost lambs, but one can never be sure. One can never be sure. And I won't bother using my run again. Yes, yes, Yellow Jacket, you have a fate that can be activated. I don't care. I have things that I actually want to do. That is interesting that there are just random quests about. I have no preference. I'm not going to spend money to teleport. I'm not a fool. I am not a le fool. All right. Wake of destruction. Let's go get those Galagos. And then we'll immediately about face and go do those other quests. They're monkeys. Did not really expect that. Click your free damage buttons. They're free damage. Is a big Galago gonna pop up out of nowhere and eat me? And then it's just report back to the guild. Alright. Hunting log. B cloud in middle. Tiny Mandragora in middle. 
I am sure that we'll run across them when we head towards the other quest that we... Well, other quests that we shall be doing. Let us go indeed. Who knows? I wonder what, like, typical level you need to be to get... Yeah, so we should run into it around here while we go to Sky High. And then Western Noskia, I believe, has, yeah, that other quest. Take this back to middle. Alright, we'll go kill some bees. And Mandragoras for the hunting log. As we make our way over there. It is the main story, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll just pass it up for now. For now. And do the other quest, just to make sure. I don't... Did the... These are the tiny magic ores that I need to do. Ah, fine, well... These are what I need to kill anyway for my hunting log. So yeah, might as well do this. I did click level sync, did I not? Yes, I did. Yes, fight me. Tiny Mandragoras. Fear me, for I am your master. Master, master. I am the nightmare that haunts your plant little head. Do plants dream? I hope they do, so that you might fear me in your dreams, you stupid little plant. Die, plant man. I did not ask for this fate, but I shall indeed finish it. Just get paid ten dollars to murder sentient plants. Now we just need to be on the lookout for any bees. You'd think the bees would be over here. Bee swarms, because you know. There's a bee swarm. Well, cloud. Just to have if now my brain is imagining like an actual like cloud sized cloud of bees. How many bees would that have to be? To be the sheer volume. To basically blot out the sun. Hunt the bees. Again, I don't think an axe is a good hunting tool. Difficulty rank unlocked. Let's see. Rank 2. Lower Noskia, the god's grip. I want a chocobo. Mossless gobus. More fat dodos. But in western Nausicaa. Oh, I guess there are different kinds of dodos, and these ones are just fat. Morabi moles. In god's grip. Egg digger. Buccaneer. And I'm sure we'll just run across these again. Like... Eventually. That's level 17. I sh probably shouldn't try and fight it. We'll find other mossless gooboos to annihilate. Oh, hey, is that? It's one of those war machines from. Uh, that you kind of see in Final Fantasy from time to time. So, yeah. I think we'll skip out on that just for now and head to do that other quest because main quest but at the same time main quests haven't been really that bad so maybe we should 
just go ahead down there, do it, because I highly doubt anything's really gonna happen. Yes, their fate has dis been discovered. There are fates everywhere. Fate, 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 fate. All the fates. Everything is a fate. You're a fate. So yeah, we'll go ahead, talk to them. They'll be like, hey, things. Like, I don't know. For some reason, my brain is like, oh no, they're gonna send me somewhere because it's a sky lift. They're not gonna send me somewhere. Scholarly man. Better on sent you out here, did he? Then consider yourself welcome at the Skylift. Look at that bloody cliff, will ya? One blast of fiery hell from the huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Cargo still needs to get through, though, so this mess of wooden pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them, at least. If the gods were kind, and they ain't, I'd have had about a dozen more workers to handle me growing list of headaches. And neither of these are good. Though that is... Uh, all classes. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe I should get that for, like, future proof. Eh, no. We'll just get that, because I'm sure that will, like, eventually run into, like... Like, if we ever get to the other, like, jobs that we can do. I'm sure that we can, like, get equipment decently. And plus, who knows? Maybe he'll send me someplace. Work it. Uh, work it. It took me this long to realize that's a pun! I'm a fool. Work it, a Skyliff operator, needs you to recover a cargo load abandoned by a terrified wagon driver and deliver it to its intended uh, recipient. Alrighty. Glad I am to see you again, lass. A wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity will spring out from a millicorn... Million corn? Seedling and his cargo... Seems the gutless bastard tossed it under the side before turning tail and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to... Deliver it to Leolf over at Swift Perch in Western Losnia. Yeah, we're gonna head there anyway. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightfully know what else is lurking inside that plant, and you deserve to be rewarded for your troubles. Oh, and you'll also find an Aetherite in Swift Perch, so the journey should be worth your while. So this is just like a, hey, go and do this, and go to a new place. Because I buy a Buiza, Buizai, a cargo transporter at the Skylift, needs helping hand to keep his fish fresh. Look sharp, lassie, I got a job for you. We don't get much time, so listen close. Today I got me too many fish and not enough water sprite course to keep them cool you see my problem now i can't del go be delivering crates of rotted fish so i need you to head over yonder and dance with them dripping sprites till you've collected three of their chili essences you do realize i don't want you actually to dance with them right i'm going to make a fanciful way of saying things and then say, I, it's a fanciful thing. I don't actually mean it. It feels like he lied to me and then said that he was lying to me and upset that I might have taken his lies as truth. That's kind of like, uh, the, what is it? Uh, what's it called? Uh, the portrait of Dorian Gray, where, at least in one version, He's like, to his girlfriend, fiance to be telling her, like, Oh, I'm going to give you a challenge. And either, basically, he's like, I'm going to tell her that if she doesn't sleep with me, I will leave her. And the right answer would be to not sleep with me and preserve her dignity. And then I'll go, psych, I actually want you to stay. I was testing you because Dorian Gray is kind of an asshole. It's kind of funny that Dorian Gray is one of those things that's like pop cultural osmosis to a degree. It feels like a lot of people know 
like the idea of a portrait that holds the person's age. You're back already? Don't keep me waiting now. Let's see those cores. Here's the cores of dead spirits. Aye, lassie, you've done well. I can't wait to get these beauties into me fish crates. That ought to keep the catch fresh and me customers happy. There's a whole mess of delivering companies what make use of the skylift. You slip up one time and some bastards liable to steal your business. I can see it. Oh, you want more? Buies, a eh? uh, cargo transporter, wants to slay buzzards that have been attacking wagons. You've shown yourself to be a useful lass. What say you doing me another favor? We've been having a wee problem with buzzards swooping down and snatching cargo from the wagons while they're traveling the road to, to the Denevel checkpoint. Most days, them feathered hellions stay well enough away, but it seems they can't resist a wagon what's loaded with meat. Well, I say we make use of that weakness to lure the greedy buggers into a trap. Take this here sack of rotting rat meat and set it down in vulture territory. That'd be where the buzzards make their nests. When the bastards show up for the feast, you start breaking beaks of the vengeance. Easy! I wonder if there's ever been like a... What is it? I'm trying to think of the word. Like... <laughs> an RPG that kind of does this kind of thing. Ah, the natural creatures are getting in the way. And like, uh, I do not want to fight the giants. I already fought the giant diddly do once. No more. But like, uh, basically if there's ever like, ah, oh, the nature is getting in the way of our job and then they drive things to extinction much like uh, America did with wolves. And I think even Europe. Europe like got rid of wolves. Oh, been a bit since I saw one of them. I clicked my character button. Get out of here. And now we return. No, I do not want to fight the giant crab. I already fought the... I just realized it's a giant crab and I never once made the... <laughs> what was the game? It's a meme now, like long, long ago, probably before 2010, there was an E3 that was like, oh yes, this is a historical action RPG. Anyway, here's a giant enemy crab. <laughs> that presentation was silly. Didn't get your eyes picked out, did you? Them buzzards be a nasty lot, but the last wagon made it through the net with nary a morsel loss. So I say you've plucked enough of their thieving hides to secure the route. You have me things, lass. I make most of me coin hauling foodstuffs, and I'd be bedding down in the gutter within the week if it weren't for your help. Seems even the scavengers are finding the pickings scarce since the calamity hit. Otherwise, you'd never see them. Try not so bold. Fortune didn't favor them. We're spit this time, though, eh? Fear me. I am the annihilator of... Animals. Truly to be feared and respected. I am the protagonist. I kill animals. And now I just need to keep an eye out for any creatures what have the swirly swirl over their heads that marks them for death. Because hunting log. Apparently. No idea why I have a hunting log. Well, looks like we're gonna have to smack this guy because he's in the way. Oh, you're just jumping right into it, ain't you? Boy. Get stunned, kicked in the face. Alright, millicorn, million corn, seedling. Log? What? Thought oh, that hits me. Dang it. I'm a bad. I would fail terribly at raids. How does that even fit in there? 
right. So yeah, deliver it all the way. Just that way. Got it, got it. Yeah, it's in the same place I need to go anyway. Well, let's head out. Again, how did the slugs get in there and be so big? I keep forgetting that I can do run button. Technically, it's only like 20 seconds. Achievement unlock. Mapping the realm. Well, we aren't here to kill Roselings. That's not on the list. I run. I run for the Roselings. For now. And there is indeed an Aetherite. Apparently somebody is slash did. 33% of the diddly D. Everybody gets carbuncles but me. Again, Chocobo Keep is like, I... I don't care because you're basically just, hey, super speed stuffs. It's not actually a controllable Chocobo. So I don't care. Has Nemea herself forsaken this desolate land? Though I understood there were risks in gambling my entire fortune on a crop of million corn... I at least expected the seedling to be delivered before disaster struck. Well, here you are. I is that my million core seedling? Oh, joyous day! It may seem a paltry beginning, but the yield of this particular variety of crop plant is nothing short of astonishing. As you have undoubtedly noticed, Swift Perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy? Thus I mean to restore the modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. You, madam, seem fit to burst with vim and vigor. Might I persuade you to abide a while and help nurture this alien settlement? Let's see. I will take the pieces. I am level 17 now. Huzzah! Leol, the farmer at Swift Perch Settlement, needs your assistance with another part of his restorations. Did that say scheme? <laughs> All of these wild dodos you see about the place were actually once domesticated birds bred by my father. They broke loose during the chaos of the Calamity and gradually became the feral, ill-tempered creatures we now do our best to avoid. But if I am to restore Swift Perch to the very same settlement it was when my father was alive, then I must also try my hand at dodo raising. And as you m have likely surmised, I shall require your adventurous resourcefulness in this endeavor. For the initial stage of my dodo-rearing enterprise, I need you to head into the flock and seek out dodo nests. You'll be looking for fertilized eggs. Three of them should do nicely for now. But pray be careful when liberating the eggs. The adult dodos will not take kindly to an intruder making off of their offspring. Well, those dodos should know better. They should learn their roots. Come back into slavery as the dodos they are, lest they face extinction. Greetings, lass. My name's... That is just way too many letters that do not go together. Swigskiff... And I'm in charge of assigning local live requests here at Swift Perch. Timokri sent you my way, did she? Well, then let's get started. Ye started. Right after we see if you've got the brass to overcome the challenges you're likely to encounter around these parts. Take a look over the task outline in this guild levy. You reckon you can handle it? Kill crabs. Megala crabs are eating all the fish in my hole. Freezing. And... Wa wa la go has the nerve to chide me over not meeting my daily quota. Well, I'll show him. I'll use the money he hides behind the giant stuffed Yagrim Salmon hanging in his office to hire an adventurer to slay all the crabs for me. Whoever accepts the task must be forewarned the Megala crabs will run for help when injured. Be properly prepared to make a chase. Sure. Speaking with the local distributor of Guild Leves, known as a Leve Mate, will bring up a list of available Leve Quests. Highlight a quest and display its objectives and select Accept It. Alright. Uh, Leve Quest... Leve Allowances are required to accept Leve Quests. You will be granted three Leve Allowances every 12 hours. Earth time. <laughs> Lol. Up to a maximum of 100. You may accept as many as 16 Leve Quests at once. Neat. Good to hear. Now, Megala Clabs... Megala Clabs? Megala Crabs like to run off to their mates when they're feeling overmatched. If you don't want to find yourself armpits deep in snippers, then you best finish them quickly. 
Open your journal under the duty main menu and begin selecting them by pressing initiate button. When the Megala Crab feels overmatched, you'll flee battle. If it reaches a certain distance, then another Megala Crab will appear. The Living Quest objective can be more easily achieved by slaying the fleeing before it's joined by more of its kind. Initiating. To initiate the Living Quest, first open your journal via the duty section of the main menu or by pressing J on your keyboards. Next, select the Levy Quest to bring up a detailed description. Of blah, blah, blah. Clicking the map will show you the approximate location. So yeah, just like a normal map. Ba ba ba. Once you've arrived, oh, ah, so it's like an area. So once you reach an area of a quest, so we'll go down to the watering hole, I guess. I think this is like the right way. Well, I guess we're in the right area. Levy quest, levy quest. Initiate. Your home point is not set to an etherite in this area. If you return to your current home point at any time during the levy quest, you'll automatically abandon the duty. I don't know how to do that. I don't think. I have... Uh, I just I don't know. I don't know what that means. Can I set this etherite as a thing? Also, apparently that guy exists. I guess set his home point. Change your home point from Limza. That is the first time that I've done that. Freyloff, a uh, yellow jacket on guard duty in Swift Perch, wants you to visit the Brewer's Beacon and investigate the reason behind the waning light. You there, adventurer, cast your eyes towards the Brewer's Beacon. Does the light not seem uncommonly weak? It cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ship sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse myself and, and investigate, but I am duty-bound to remain at my post. I would consider it a favor if you would make a visit to the Brewer's Beacon and see if it aught has befallen Kanswis, the lighthouse keeper. Sure thing, bro. Sure thing, broski. All right. Initiate. Level four plus. Let's see. When you initiate a levy quest, you will be given the opportunity to adjust its difficulty. The greater the difficulty setting, the higher the level target enemies will be. Difficulty also affects completion rewards. Levy quest difficulty can be lowered at any time during the course of the duty by selecting the quest name and duty list above. Please note the levy quest difficulty cannot be raised once the difficulty has been over. No, changing classes during the course of this duty or using a class above the recommended level may reduce the amount of experience awarded for completion. Eh. Sure. Confirm. Kill it before it runs away. Go away. When all the... Sure. That was... Things went fast! You seem to have, tr have had little trouble, lass. Here's the reward for your efforts. A bonus has been awarded based on difficulty. A bonus has been awarded based on speed of completion. Neat. I reckon uh, you'll do just fine with the rest of me jobs. Ah, achievement unlocked. On the payroll. One. And there's always plenty to do here at Swift Perch. Well, with the rebuilding and such, be sure to make yourself useful. Neat. Believes you are ready to join a guild hest. By the by, a sturdy adventurer like yourself might want to look into guild hests. Have a word with Battle Warden Tia Roro, and she'll give you the details. Don't you fret now, lass. I'll set you straight if she has any doubts as your ability. Information. What are field craft? Our intended disciples of the land require the proper tools to be equipped for initiation. Fishing levees, well classified as field craft, are conducted in a manner similar to trade craft. All right. And then I guess battlecraft, nothing particular. Uh, battlecraft. Just looking at anything that like gives good rewards. These are just like side things, so. I shall leave for now. I have other quests to complete. Apparently like this. Just over here. I have no idea what this is. 
Yeah, live and mate. Word travels quickly in Swift Perch. Here to learn about guild hests, are we? What's a guild hest? Why? It's a, it, it, it's a behest issued by the Adventurer's Guild, Savvy. When a certain task brought to the attention of the guild is a little too grand for a levee, but not grand enough for a grand company involvement, they're deemed guild hests and sent to yours truly. But don't let the lack of grandeur fool you. The tasks are anything but simple. Most take place in tight quarters and all require precision teamwork twixt you and your battle mates. And so what do you get in re uh, return for place in your neck on the lap and lie on the blah, blah, blah. My brain just wanted to use all the different words that didn't fit there. Placing your neck on the lop and block. Besides a beam and grin from the battle warden to Tiro Ro Tiro, fame, fortune, the usual. So I presume you'll be joining our next operation. I'll just take more potions. Duty finder unlocked. Oh no. People. Don't tell me that I'll have to deal with people. You have unlocked the duty finder. This feature allows you to undertake multiplayer duties without having to form a party of your own. To bring up the duty finder interface, select duty finder under duty in the main menu. Guild hests are special operations organized by the Adventurers Guild, uh, Adventurers Guilds, and overseen by NPCs known as Battle Wardens. Speaking with a Battle Warden displays a list of all guild hests currently available. Please note, however, that each operation has conditions, such as level or class, that must be met by all party members before the duty can be commenced. At first, you may find that only a limited number of guild hests are accessible, but do not worry. As you progress in level, that, num uh, that, that number will grow. Guild hests can also be accessed via the duty finder, removing the hassle having to try and gather a party. But I want to do at your service, or should I say you'll be at my service? Let's see. Learning more. Guilds are small party based operations that were seen by the Adventures Guild. In addition to instance, the battles have varying time limits. Rewards for completing operations are based on your party's performance. A bonus will be awarded for the first time you complete a HESP with each class. A bonus will also be awarded for completing the operation with minimal number of KOs. New operations will become available as you increase your level or as you complete existing HESTs. Some operations can only be unlocked by speaking with certain battle wardens. Let's see. The duty finder allows you to challenge dungeons and other duties with a party of other players. You may access it via duty in the main menu or by choosing the appropriate notion duty registration. Enter dungeons and other duties via the duty finder by joining your desired duty, then selecting join. You will then be automatically matched with compatible players destined for the same duty. Duty status. When you register for a duty, it will appear along with an icon in your duty list. You may check duty status, including matching progress and approximate waiting times by selecting the entry. Commencing duty. Pick not that if you do not commence duty within time limit, your registration will be automatically withdrawn and you must start over. Once you have successfully matched with other players, a prompt will indicate a notification sound will appear and begin uh, begins duty by selecting commence. For next, over the course of your adventures, the number of duties available to you will gradually increase. Many duties can be cleared via both the duty finder and duty support systems, so it's worth familiarizing yourself with both. You may also re-challenge uh, re previously cleared dungeons by accessing duty finder or duty support via duty. Hmm. Interesting. Thirty minutes. Hmm. I am not one for multiplayer people. If only I could do it with AI. For some reason, I thought that you could. That could be like specific things and not guild hests. Profound sadness. Granted, it probably wouldn't be terrible to do it, who knows. Depending on how things go. We might do it. It's just, I don't like dealing with people. People are bad and hurt the soul. I steal your egg and your tenderloin.
be gone, fat dodo D. Die. Be gone, Satan. Oh, Buccaneer, we'll have to kill him. Just for the hunting log. Why would the hunting log want me to hunt people? That seems odd. That seems very specific and odd. We want you to hunt people. No idea why. But sure, I'm an adventurer with no morals. Yes, come to fight me. How dare you be a buccaneer. <laughs> the deadliest prey, indeed. It's just amusing to me that the hunting log is just like, hey, go hunt people. Like the dodos, the mandragoras, sure. Those all make some level of sense. Go ahead and kick you in the nards. I'm sure we'll have to kill these guys as like as part of a quest, but hey, why not go ahead and smack these guys down just out of the way? Just more and more want to die, it seems. And apparently I wasn't killing enough of them anyway, so hey. Works for me. Your volunteer of death has been grandly accepted. Hunting log has been completed for them. Good. Sewer mole. Not the, not the right mole for me to murder. I think it was like mulberry mole or something like that. The dodos see nothing. Until they spawn in, then they see everything. Be gone, Dodo. Your eggs are mine. Definitely. Just, you're gonna come up an area and affect me? From barely off the screen? You really like your area of effects, don't you? They are not going to help you. Be gone. Well, let's see. Any other quests in the area? There is the relighting of the torch. Yeah, we're basically there. We're gonna have to pass through a fate that we're probably not gonna do yeah probably not gonna do it primarily because it's just uh, four minutes to and it's like yeah, who knows at the same time it doesn't seem like plus I have to deal with the buzzards be gone buzzard you are not who I care about For some reason, I thought there was another buzzard after me. You have good eyes. It makes sense, you're a bird, but still annoying. Be gone, bird. Die. I picked the worst path. Luckily, this... Nope, he is. I doubt I'm gonna actually kill him. But who knows? We have three minutes to do this. Let's go. The game assigned me a boss fight. Luckily, I can dodge him. Nope, I can't dodge that. And now a bird's after me. Great. Dodge that. Everything and everywhere all the time. Bird, go away. All of the area of effects, not that.
I do not... Hmm, maybe we will. Let's overpower. Let's do that. Get my rotation. My very, very basic rotation. Yeah, we should be, we should be able to kill this guy. All of the area of effects. Okay, we're just... We're done. We're done with you. You are a nightmare. Be gone. Area of effect. Nope. Kill the giant munchkin monster now and forever. I just came to check out a lighthouse. And now he's dead. Huzzah. I just wanted to check on the lighthouse. You see a yellow jacket sent you here, eh? Me light's grown dim, has it? Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb what fuels me furnaces up and bug it off, you see. If I don't get the beacon fixed up soon, then there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just a messenger, lass, but I can tell you're a venturer when I see one. I'm gonna need you to chase down that bomb and bring back a claw what ye ripped from its smoldering corpse. Take this here iron brazier and set her down in the middle of the flock, somewhere, some here, somewhere near the scarecrow, I'd say. You get a nice fire going and the frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch you, watch you don't send your eyebrows, lass. Interesting. You'd think that she would have reported that. Who knows? Maybe it happened recently. Let's try to avoid the auto lock on buzzard buggers. And uh, go about relighting de their torch with a bomb. Don't know how a bomb deadly do they did that. But hey. Alright, Iron Brazier. Light the Scarecrow on fire, apparently. Oh, I moved and interrupted it. I am a fool. We must magically wave our hands. Yeah, that's a bomb. Didn't... I really should have expected it, but still. For some reason, an actual sentient bomb felt odd to believe in. I need to remember that I can run. For only 20 seconds at a time every 60 seconds, but I can still run. The ultimate buff. Bastard. Kick the bird. Slash the bird. Kill the bird. Laugh at the bird. Mock the bird's Twitter profile. Ratio the bird. Kill it and dead. All you uh, need to do is take down the runaway bomb and bring me one of its little claws. Didn't really look like it had claws. <laughs> Cancel the bird. Exactly. Ah, you got the ashy bastard, did you? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep things going for a while. I had myself a bit of a look while you was gone, and Limali Lane cursed me in the furnace, weren't bent on all broken. Small wonder the bloody bomb was able to escape. I patched things up as best I could, but I ain't no smitty. You might want to have a chat with that yellow jacket friend of yours in Swift Perch and have him pass the word back to someone in Limsa. Alrighty then. Then all the way back, I suppose, for all the various... Avoid the birds. Block the birds. Mute the birds. Sprint away from the birds. And then eventually we'll probably be able to come over here and do things. If I really wanted to, I could potentially, like, do the... The duty. But that means dealing with people. 
gasp in horror dealing with people. Who'd even want to do that? Not me. Nobody wants to do such things. I got the eggs. It's the stolen children. With three eggs, I should be able to experiment with breeding. Success or failure is not terribly important to begin with. I mean, to only gain some practical experience with the birds. Nice to know that they'll be in good hands, sarcasm. Yes, you did exceptionally well in selecting only fertilized eggs. Now that I consider it, I'm not entirely sure how you managed to tell. In any case, I must raise the naturally aggressive dodo from the egg if I'm to have any chance of surviving the breeding process. Apart from encouraging a more docile behavior while the bird is but a chick, it is imperative that I remove the gland that produces the infamous poisonous breath. My father's notes quite graphically depict the consequences of failing to do so. This really is rather exciting. Every day I take another step closer to my vision of a swift perch surrounded by golden fields of wheat and echoing with the calls of plump waddling dodos. Good for you, my dude. The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well. I shall write up the relevant reports, but these repairs must needs be effected without delay. It seems I have another favor to ask you, adventurer. Take yourself straight to the Armorer's Guild in Limza Lamenza and explain the situation to Forge Master Henanza. There was too many A's. Again, could do. The diddly D. This is a big area. Biggie, biggie area, and there's a few quests, aka two. Levies of Alaport. Well, that's obviously a wee bit away. So I guess just head back to Limza. Limza. Let's see. I guess the fastest way is just to bop, bop. No, that's absolutely wrong. That's a decent distance. Let's see. Oh, well, we'll survive the trek. I don't know if the fairy docks function. What am I, a veteran? No. We are going to pass through yet another... Hey, there's a John Bossman in me. Ah, level too high. I shall leave it be then. And simply leave. It was about dead anyway. If I could have just run up and smacked it, that would be nice. But sadly, it was not meant to be. Now I just need to make it all the way back so we can go to the lower decks. Go to the Armorer Guild. God, what I'd give for a actual good chocobo. What? You're still here. Surely we've been gone long enough for you to be gone. I swear, it was like, oh yes, there's only eight minutes remaining for the big crab last time we were here. We come back, it's still bloody here! Do the, do the giant crab population just re revitalize that quickly? Probably... This is a fantasy world. Where here, in the real world, we have to deal with cockroaches. In fantasy land, they have to deal with giant crabs that spawn like cockroaches. Oh, we could probably just kill Mossless Gooboo. I'm not scared of you. Kill the giant Gooboo. Because why not? I'm not scared of you, rock monster that looks like flesh. The flesh rock. You've heard of rock -a doodle Now get ready for rock of flesh. No, we're not gonna do this one. We're heading home. I just stopped by to schmiggity schmack a goo boo. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of freaking marauders. 
The Yellow Jackets will be in dire straits for a while, but oh well. That's what they get for living in a fate zone. Hey, Bill. You ever wonder why the miraculous random spawning marauders come out of nowhere and start killing the Yellow Jackets? No, not really. It's just the way it is over here. In the orange farm area. And there's another gooboo that we can do away with. It's even five levels lower than the last one. Die, gooboo. You might be an innocent being, but you must die. I have interject interrupts the use of a target action. So if I ever see a area of effect, I can just murder them? Nice. Down to the lower docks I go, I think. Zephagate mm. is gate. We'll go to the armor guild, apparently. Let's see. Glance around. D -d -d. Let's see. And... Does seem that we are in the right area for this. I think. No, we are definitely not. I am fool. I am bad at reading. That's just me. I'm bad at reading. Maps more than anything, but still. Again, I could do the duty, but dealing with people, ugh. They might even want to do something as abominable as talk. Nightmares. Utter nightmares. Let's go ahead and dippity D. There's even more levies that we can do. If I so chose. But levies just seem to be, hey, you want to do even more side quests? Which, who knows, maybe sometimes, depending if the rewards are decent. Still lovely that that song just plays. The furnace in the Brewer's Beacon needs repairs. Beer got some beard. I just sent someone out to tinker with it not a week past. May have the bomb co uh, con Swiss had trapped in there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artisan visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the casing of the furnace. Your work is done here, adventurer. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. Let's see. Neither of these are good. I shall just take that then. And I shall talk to you and get more quests. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Forgemaster Hananza, head of Naldik and Vimillas, wants you to assist with the workload over the Mora... I was just over there not too long ago. What say you take on some work for Naldik and Vimillas? We have a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra uh, hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run this missive over to Artburm, the head shipwright of the Morabi docks. We forge most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armor's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in South Lower Lalnuskia. That's also where you'll find the main offices of Naldik and Vimilis. The Morabi Docks is one of the Limsa Lemenza's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure you'll not regret tuning yourself to the area as Aetherite. If you have no confidence in your sense of direction, you best serve making use of the Chocobo Porters, first floor of the Mizzenmast, in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow you, I already know. I already... Luckily, I already know how to get there. Because I already went there not too long ago, all things considered. And off we go. To finish Wake of Destruction. Another portal. I don't even know if it does anything. It's just there. 
fear the portal that feeds upon your very soul by mere existence. Off we go to turn in a quest. I could probably teleport, but that would require knowing systems. Who needs to know systems when I can just run there? I am coming, my marauder lord. For I have done some marauding, technically. I've done many a thing. Welcome back, Neon. Your actions have saved many from needless injury and anguish. But though your efforts are to be commended, there is yet much work to be done. Kujuta, the object of your vengeance, has trampled the farmer's wagon as he thundered through the lands of Tilla's Rest. The foodstuffs spilled from the overturned wain have attracted all manner of hungry predators. Without produce for the market, the farmers will surely suffer for coin this season. Your duty is thus clear. Put down these rapacious scavengers and preserve the cargo. Investigate the main, which is out there. I guess I'll go down to Morabi Docks. Kind of funny that you pay a gill fee. You have to pay a fee to, like, y utilize teleportation. I just find that amusing. off we go to the docks. I've already done the majority of the side quests there because I'm a wanderer and I'm just like, oh, I'm kind of going through there. I'm going to do the quest there because why not? Why not, Billy? And the portal's gone. Good. There's an event going on. I don't quite... I don't know what the occasion is. I'm just a lowly adventurer. I have no idea. It's just me going about doing things. For all I know, they are like celebrating the end of poverty within the world, and I don't know. Good thing we're going to God's Grip because I have things that I need to kill for the hunting log there anyway. Yay, murder. Praise be the murder that gives us job. Who needs morals when you have murder? Who needs murder when you have morals? You decide. Another Gobu. Let's kill the Gobu. You shall die for logs. For posterity. Wahey. Kick the giant whatever. And watch them shudder and die. It did have the icon of, hey, you need to kill this for the diddly D, didn't it? Or else I killed a poor Gobu for no reason. On and off we go past this. I don't know, this tower seems small. Who knows, maybe it uses a ladder instead of a staircase. Or a very narrow staircase. This is a fantasy world. <laughs> maybe maybe it was made for the Lalafells. We need a Lalafell guard for our tiny tower. That could work. Mm, this is the right way, is it not? It is. 
That's me. There we go. Because I had the wrong diddly D open. We already killed you once on our own. We're not going to do it again. I said we're not going to do it again. Epic music, yes, but we already did you. Be gone, Satan. I wonder if this quest line will send us into the dungeon. I heard that dungeons, at least, can be done with NPC AIs. But maybe I was lied to. This is the age of the world that nothing can be trusted. Open sesame. Which is probably a pun on says me. Fear me, fools, for I am here to turn in quests. Oh no, wood. For a giant ship. Oh hey, it's the guy that she was afraid of uh, for cannibalistic reasons. You have a missive for me from Forge Master Hananza. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon past. Let's see it then. Here you go, my dude. Nice coat. Blast and botheration, another delay? Am I well? I'm well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. Ah, my apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? It's me, Neon Ice Wings. It's me. Neon, is it? Well, Neon, this is this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the docks since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is a symbol that limbs our lamenzas to the rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Thus, we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible. Even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside, the philosoc... Thalosocra... Thalos... Or crassi. Thalosocracy. I don't know. Yeah. Yet even with such unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of odd jobs for a hard-working adventurer. Be you fair warned, there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. And once again, I'll just take random bronze pieces. Will we get to see that lovely ship fly? Have you seen anything so grand? It pains me that I'll have to let her go one day. Tell me about yourself. The name's Atberm. I serve as the foremost shipwright on the Victory, the vessel that lays before us. She's Neldik and Vermili's first endeavor since the Calamity, and my personal pride and joy. From the moment of her conception, I have stood beside her, watching as she grew to where she is now. When the girl is finally seaworthy, not only will she be the most powerful ship in the Maelstrom Armada, but she'll serve as a symbol of Lemza Lemenza's return to nautical supremacy. Which is why I cannot take my eyes off these lazy dogs for even a moment. Give the lot a single elm and the victory would probably be in flames before I could blink. Adabram is looking for a member of the crew and the items he was supposed to deliver. Where in the seven hells is that man? Not once in twelve moons has he been late with a ship remnant. And now, two whole turns of the sun without a word. A shipwright of mine, a young man named Felsmead, recently left Candlekeep K to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from Limsa Lemenza, but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Hal Broda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right, nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. The man knows something, and I severely doubt he is telling me the whole truth. 
As I cannot leave my post, I would ask you to travel to Candlekeep K in my stead and inform Hald Broda that if he insists on playing these games, I will personally see that he is transferred to Turtleback Island, where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for eternity. Harsh. Harsh, my dude. But let us go and harass the man. And now my nose is like, I'm gonna sneeze, but it isn't, and it's very annoying and bothersome. Interesting that the levees for this place are far beyond me. Well, two levels beyond me, but still. I wonder how many quests are in this game now. I think I heard that they actually reduced the amount of quests there were eventually. Because, like, a, I think, like, a lot of people were very annoyed at the pacing of Rebirth. And at first, once they started adding more and more expansions and content, there was a lot of early game, like shenanigans to get through and then eventually they're like yeah we should fix that up and I think they did I'm not joining the fate I did this one a long time ago aka last time I played this game be gone Morabi mole I need to kill more moles more moles must die by my hand There doesn't seem to be any. Spawn moles, damn you. Spawn moles. Maybe I'll run across more moles. There's more moles to murder. Only in A Realm Reborn and only because post A Realm Reborn was, and to some degree still is, a bit of a slog. Nothing trimmed from the rest of the game, though. That's what I... I think that's what I heard as well. So, yeah, that makes sense. Kick them all, because why not? Because I kind of wouldn't... It oh, we already... <laughs> this extra mole must die. They've also been revamping almost all the A Realm Reborn dungeon and trial content to make them runnable with trusts. Interesting. Nice to know that the people behind the game still care about the early stuff. And not just like... Then again, even the early stuff is still like... So far, I'm enjoying it. Even if I'm not even to Heaven's Ward yet. And I was like, today's, today years old when I learned it's not Heaven's Sword. It's Heaven's Ward. With an A. And the S on Heaven's. Just very amusing to me. Hello, my dude. Eh, does a self-righteous dog and burn doubt that he never told him? So, I, yeah, I need to doubt you. Then I'll I go to the social. Where's my doubt? I need to... Ah, there we go. Doubt. I doubt you by pointing at you vigorously. <laughs> Heaven's Ward, and the name is like five different meanings when you actually get to it. It's kind of wild. I mean, considering that apparently like the, the answer is song is, like, from what I heard, essentially a giant reference to the entirety of the Final Fantasy XIV story, even today. I can see it. <laughs> Turtleback Island, he cannot do that, can he? I swear on my poor Nana's grave, never get a rest of soul. I know not of this Furl's mead, nor his precious supplies. Hells, we here at the K have had enough trouble these past few suns. What the sinking of the Lemons and cargo ship off to Salt Strand? I haven't the time to take proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders on off the grip. Ooh, I get new bracers. Yay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is, that is precisely the best kind of answer. And I shall now put on my new 
lovely braces. Oh, that actually goes really well with my... Eh, it kind of goes well. It color matches at the very least. If you don't think about it too hard, it works. Halbroda has a suggestion for the kind of adventurer who came bearing the foreman up of his message. Now, the way I see it, if you have time to be standing here questioning my character, then you must certainly have the time to get the, that ass of yours down to Salt Strand and help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows, you may just run across this Phil's mead everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. Well, off we go then. Yeah, I just can't wait to dig deeper into this game and see what I can experience, at least for the free trial. And that is a big Mandragora. Mandragora Prince. Like, the only thing that, like, d d d d uh, tempers? Tempers my... Did nobody just walk down here? It's the dude. He's just here. He's like, oh, we couldn't find him. Blah, blah, blah. He's just right here. Did nobody go for a walk? The Megala crabs aren't even vicious. And this guy's just here behind a rock. Like, spitting distance. Somebody from the window could see him from the docks. I think they're just trying to murder this guy. But before we talk to him, I'm going to finish my thought. The only thing that kind of uh, tempers my super excitement for this game is like, if I ever get to the final bit of the free trial, then comes the part like, now, do you suffer the subscription? Utter fear. But then again, that's like 300 hours from now, so I have a long time to fear that existence. Hi, I'm Fuse Mead. You say the foreman's wandering on my whereabouts. I thought he might be. But you must know, I cannot show me face of the Drydox until I've righted the terrible wrong I caused. Two nights past, I made the trip to, from the Drydox to Candlekeep K, just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough, and the captain of the cargo ship was wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs. So I paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her. By the time we was halfway, twixt shore and ship, the swells had risen to nigh on ten yarms, and twasn't long before the waves had a hold of us. Try as we may, to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight, and we was flung headlong into the Lamenzen galley. When I awoke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was to collect lay strewn across the salt strand. I has made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with... Kikern? And I ain't a one with a war sword. And now you see why it is I cannot return to the dry docks. Well, time to murder. Well, we need to kill these guys anyway. Die, Satan! The egg diggers must die! Dang it, that was the perfect opportunity for the thing. I shall move this here to try and use it more with auto. Ah, uh, yeah. For some reason, I'm just not used to, like, people running by. Yes, this is a, like, multiplayer, massively, a, a that game, but I, I did the thing again. I'll get out of your way. Come on. I punch you! Did not work as I suspected it would. I thought it would actually interrupt that, but I guess that would be a bit strong. So, that, ah, it's just another free damage button. I need to click it all the time. Click your free damage buttons. They're free damage. I'll smiggity smack all the fools. Is a giant crab going to rise to meet us? To eat us? A giant enemy crab. Ah, 
the feeling of having free damage buttons. It feels good. No, I was here grabbing things and you exist. Crab is gone. Fear the crab. It's a ninja crab. It can be anywhere and everywhere out to get you. Level up and hunting log. Fear me, I am the hunting log master. I think that should be all, so we shall head back to the man. Hello, man. We gathered up all the things. Now you can go home and not be a disappointment to your family. That night, I was tossed into the sea like some doll of rags, and it weren't long before the world around me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. Now, that just reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean RPG. Uh, I forget what it was like. It was something of the damned. But yeah, it had a cool, like, cinematic trailer. Armada of the Damned, that what it, that's what it was. Had a cool trailer. Sadly, it was cancelled, I think, for shenanigan reasons. Just sadness. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells. And I woke to find myself washed ashore. And here I's been ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage me master's cargo. There's one cargo, second cargo, third cargo. Now you can cargo home. The missing parts. I, I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away, but I must. Dr but first, I must stop by the K so I can, my, uh, so I might pay me respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coin. Could you tell Abert Atperm that I'll be back at the dry docks by nightfall? It is nightfall. Well, I guess technically morning. Hmm. Many thanks, adventurer. I will not forget this kindness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't subvert, like, protocol. When people are like, we can't do that, see bad. Yeah, because technically it's not just like, <laughs> I must go to tell the widow of the fisherman who gave his life for my impatience. And also all the widows of the other ship that got destroyed by a suicide diddly dee. I don't envy you all the sea wolf names you must pronounce. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, just looking at them. It's my, like, look at this guy. He's not even the worst. Well, technically, he is one of the worst, but that's because he's the Ur's worst. Aha. But so many of them just have letters that just don't go together <laughs> for my poor American brain. <laughs> I just look at them and it's just like, how the hell do I pronounce that? <laughs> they just drive me insane. But plus they also give me the chance to just be like, you know, <laughs> to try and get good at just see letters, pronounce them. Razin Milzin. Marlweeb Bluff Hiswin. I haven't. I probably butchered that. At Berm. I did it. I am relieved to hear that both Ferro's Mead and the supplies are unharmed. Though it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for that which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to Dry Docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candlekeep K was of a less natural sort. The sort which the Sahagin have been known to conjure. Actually, you nailed it. Oh, neat! Huzzah! Hezekhezel. <laughs> I see, I pronounce. Oh, we get a no Labrys!
We are not an arcanist or a rogue. We get big arm. Victory Foreman at Berm is considering recommending you for an important job involving Drydock security. Neat. Neon, while I originally had doubts about your motives, you have all repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Naldik and Vimilis. I still do not like you, <laughs> but that does not mean I do not trust you. That is a hilarious line. I love it. Gim, uh, Gim Thota, head of the watch here at the Dry Docks, believes the pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory, and she requires assistance investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. I have recommended you for the task. Despite all Limsa Lamenza endured during, but before, during, and following the calamity, the fact that there are still those who would turn their backs on the city-state so they might line their pockets with a few handfuls of coin, just the thought of it sickens me. Yep, you're pointing at a wall. Well, I guess wall kind of gave way and you pointed down here, right? But well, I already uh, met Grim Thotter. That is a dragon. I am very infamous. <laughs> when will I get a mount? Probably in a uh, hundred hours. Oh no. Did we? It was probably a different guard captain. Or maybe it's the same guard captain. But we did, like, deliver a weed on behalf of the uh, lighthouse guy to somebody. Ah, uh, yes, I had a feeling you would uh, be the one at Berm sent since you first arrived at the Morabi do Dry Docks. I've had my men watch you. Oh, there's no need to get angry. I make it a point to keep an eye on all those new to the area. It's simply protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing incriminating was found. You appear to be a model citizen. That and the foreman seems to think somewhat highly of you. He just said that he didn't like me. <laughs> Which I must admit is quite shocking. The man doesn't even trust his own mother. One of his own employees thinks that he's a cannibal. Very well, then. I assume Matt Berm informed you of what your task would entail. The pirates we believe are conspiring to raid the Dry Docks were last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach the men posing as a lost adventurer and see if you cannot somehow learn of their intentions. Kanago, Kanago stationed at the rear gates, can provide you with an exact location of the camp. Is this going to lead to the dungeon? I feel like this is going to lead to the dungeon. Am I going to have to deal with people? Oh no. Not people. That's the worst thing. I mean, people are pirates. Neon, haha, <laughs> I knew it. No more sardines for Kanago. Tonight I shall dine on the finest sal salmon in the peninsula. Why? Well, I had a little wager going on with some of the other guards on who Atburn would recommend for the next job. My money was on you. Ah, the job. Yes, of course. If you follow the road past the gates to the southeast, you'll eventually come to a barren cape with a single large stone half buried in the cliff overlooking the sea. Followers of the Twelve say it's a holy place dedicated to Nimia. Nimaya. Nimaya. The spinner. I'd be surprised if the pirates camped there were aware of that, though. Yeah, we are heading directly to the dungeon. Fear. Oh, fear. Oh, nope. Well, we're technically-ish, but when you... Kind of like this, it covers the bridge. The land... Uh, well, covers the land that does not exist there. You're right. The first pronunciation. Hey! But because of delay... My brain is now, like, pronunciation of what? Disputable pirate. Firefly must die. Why does the... Why does it have so much health for a firefly? That is hilarious. One second local scrag and disreputable pirate? I'm murdering fireflies. Fireflies. <laughs> Why? It amuses me. Oh, loyal scrag, not local. And this is a... It's a rock. Interesting. So you're the reason why the fireflies didn't get in <laughs> See, it's, a... it's not my fault. They're on the hunting log. Yo, disreputable pirate. Oh, wait. 
aren't you the same pirate that, uh, what's her name? The other Makote that was, like, with us in the cavern where we fought, uh, enraged Gumu and also came after I beat up the golem and we saw her memories? You look like the same pirate. I'm giving you the account of the nine to step back on that path and carry your venture and ass back down to whatever rock it is you crawled out from under. You see, eyes added up to me ears of your type roam in the hills like they was your tazorum. It's getting to be um, that a man can I enjoy a mug of rum without some shite brave and outlander running up and asking which is the way to the local levy, mate. Seven ales if I know, I'm a bloody pirate, goddammit. Those balls, once we have my boy back, I'm putting this guy for a second piss all over an island so far behind me, and no one will remember I was ever here. Come on, Scraggs, we use knives to sharpen. Huh. That wasn't so much confront them as it was. He does what he wants because a pirate is free. The only th thing free about that guy was his anger. I just love it that he even just admits it. I'm not some little person to tell you which way to go. I'm a pirate! He just comes out and says it. Absolutely n no fear. No paranoia. Just, I'm a, fe I'm a pirate, God damn it. Leave me alone. This is funny to me. Oh, Storm Captain. So the trespassers are indeed pirates, and they are indeed planning something, but what is this talk of getting me boy back? Could it be that their target never was the victory? Something is not right, and I won't sit idly by... Uh, sit idly. Sit by idly waiting for those pirates to make the first move. I shall order an increased patrols immediately. Thank you again for your help, Neon. It appears we were wise to put our trust in you. I get a new hammer. Well, not hammer. It's a... It, axe. It's an axe. Equip. Axe time. Oh, I can just talk to you again. Gim Thotter, Captain of the Watch at the Morabi Dry Docks, which is your aid in dealing with potential intruders. And I get Antidote! Instantly cures most instances of poison. Oh boy. Fear. We're going to run into poison stuff now. I'm concerned, Neon. It appears that the pirates I had to investigate are on the move. They creep ever closer to the dry dock, so I must assume they must uh, they mean to target the victory herself. That ship is the symbol of everything Limsa Lamenza strives to become, and I will not allow these base scoundrels to lay a single finger on her hull. We must apprehend them before they put their plans into motion, and you, Neon, are just the woman to do it. Without your capable assistance, I fear the security of the Dreadox cannot be guaranteed. Not moments ago, my guards submitted reports of suspicious activity in the area. Pray begin your efforts by listening to one of their accounts firsthand. It matters not whom you choose to speak with, but be sure to question either Ursworst at the front gate or Kanago. I'm going to Kanago. Any suspect saboteurs you encounter during the course of your investigation are to be interrogated. Report any and all findings to me directly. Can I go? Because I like the cut of her jib. The cut of thine jib. I should also use the control daily more. Hail, adventurer. Glad to have another, band, uh, another hand aboard to help shore up security. The gods know our reports would sit on Gimthoda's desk, uh, gathering dust if it weren't for the assistance of those such as yourself. Speaking of reports, though, I saw one of those mangy pirates lurking around the cliff near Empty Heart. I take a closer look before he has a chance to cover his tracks. Right out the cliff, you say? Well, this pirate sure won't be free. I'm coming for thee, pirate ye. You shall die. I shall beat you up. I shall steal your words. Plagiarize them. Make a poem that I claim is mine. And I accidentally clicked off the window because I am a fool. I am a big, big blubber. Gimthoda, I'm trying to creep up on the pirate, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps knocking my window out of focus. Where are they? He's just standing up here. This is just a place. Push him! 
Push him off. Push him now. Bah, spotted me, did you? Well, you're too late. What's to happen is already happening. He just... He just, uh, Assassin's Creed out of here. He Assassin's Creed it out of here. I am envious of his skills. Yeah, I'm sure I can survive. I assassin creeded in myself. Now, that would be an interesting collaboration. Final Fantasy cross... Uh, that's not the way at all. Final Fantasy cross Assassin's Creed. That would be interesting. Like an actual classical Assassin's Creed. I've yet to play any of the new ones, so I'm not even sure if that's like... I don't know how they play like beyond that they're more open uh, open world RPG -y than else. Duty calls commence battle for victory in peril. Level sync is in effect. If you are above the maximum allowed level, it will be synced as follows. Level 18. I am one level above. Haha. -ha. I am basically in the right place. You have left sanctuary. You have entered sanctuary. You have left sanctuary. So you found me one of those pirates, did you? I knew you were right, the right adventurer to ask for aid. But what could these knaves be planning? What's to happen is already happening. Captain, uh, trouble at the shipyard! You have a fancy outfit. Easy now, soldier. Who did this to you? Pirates, out of nowhere. Stuck me good. Gods below, we are not prepared for this! The pirate soldier, how many do they number? Not sure. More than I could quickly count, seem to be carrying explosives. Explosives? Then there is no time to lose. Neon, what you heard the situation, make your way to the shipyard and engage these intruders. I will see to this man's wounds, then follow after. Make haste now. Even though I kind of look like a pirate. To the shipyard. That is wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. That way is blocked off, it seems. Die, Silent Lackey. I kill you. You are no longer silent. I will make you scream. And all the guards are, like, either down on their knees or, like, cowering. Are they like, are they silent? You have doomed yourself. You heal the guy I'm killing, but time for you to die. Boss fight time. <laughs> Never reckoned that it'd be this easy. Still don't trust those slimy bastards, but their plan worked like a charm. Da, what are you doing, you great bloody fool? It's his father? Shut your yap, boy. This will all be over soon. All that's left now is to blow this ugly pile of driftwood into splinters. Why would you do such a thing? Have you any idea how important this ship is? What it represents? Aye, and that's what makes it all the sweeter. Whatever it takes to knock some sins into me treacherous backstabbing son. Imagine a boy of mine giving up the pirate life to become a shipwright and building a bleeding maelstrom vessel at that. What other Lamalans, Limlans, wide green ocean made you take up with these self righteous shites? You're the one with no bloody sense, da. Don't you see? The pirates had their glory days, but that era is over. Ah, I wondered why Ab Atburns never spoke of his father. I never, never would have thought. This ship's a symbol, all right, of everything what went wrong with the world. And I mean to shatter it into a hundred thousand pieces. And they're all just clapping on it. Grimforter, Neon, 
Pray beat the tar out of this bloated sea slug and make sure no harm comes to the victory. Axe time. A pirate don't abandon his treasure. Well, you'll abandon it in death. Oh, the, the, what? What? What is with the demons? Level 20 demons? Level 20 demons, okay. What even are they? Mamu. I am... Okay. Interesting. I just see a bunch of... The Absorbed. The Self-Absorbed. Whoop. Yeah, just like, what are these things? Make it smack him down. I have no idea. Mamu uh, mercenaries. I guess these are the. Uh, what are they? And I've been attacked by silent lackeys this entire time. I am a fool. Die, silent lackey! I killed your your master. Already. Wrong person, I attack this man. And that's everything. I just saw the weird, like, lizard mercenaries waddling up, and I'm just like, what the hell are those? I... I must be getting old. Letting some green venture get the best of me. Duh. Hopefully they didn't have explosives planted already. <laughs> That's one big bloody ship. Big... And nasty looking. You made that, did you? Don't know why that was on a black screen. Who knows? So that's the last thing he's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll admire my son's work in the end. My thanks, Neon. I shudder to think what may have become of the victory without your intervention. The pirates have made a right mess of things. I'd best get to sorting out the docks, and my thoughts could use some sorting as well. Ever did my father have a way of turning my life upside down? Pray convey my thanks and my apologies to Gimthotter. Interesting. Again, just seeing the... The mercenaries run up on me. It was a scary sight. Because I just haven't seen anything like them yet. How fair you, Neon. I cannot begin to thank you for the role you played in preventing this madness. You defended more than a simple ship. You saved the budding hope of Limzilla Menza from a violent demise. The day was yours. It seems that our security regimen will require much in the way of improvement if we're true to keep the dry dock safe. Atburm apologizes. Well, I suppose I can understand why he would feel responsible for his father's actions. Of all those involved, this incident was hardest on him. But in time, I believe he will come to single conclusion. The most fitting way of moving past his anguish is to see the victory completed and in the water. Uh, by the way, the pirates we defeated have been handed over to the Yellow Jackets. Rainer's men will be taking over the investigation. Before the Yellow Jackets moved in, however, we recovered a most unusual object. Should you have the time to spare, I would ask you another favor. You can now accept the next class job quest. Yay! And levies. Interesting. 
Gimthotta wishes to entrust you with an important task. Neon, in light of your role in recent events, there are a few others of whom I would entrust this task. Since last we spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of Atsa... Ats... Ah... Uh, Finn. Adzafin, the pirate behind the plot to sabotage the victory. The dismissive was pinned in the most unusual script, a script we believed to be some manner of code. Needless to say, anything which the proven enemy of Lemza Lemenza deems worthy of enciphering is like to be of great interest to the Maelstrom. Unfortunately, none among us can make any sense of the message. In cases such as this, I am told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn to Badaran and his convenient connections. Thus I would have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the Drowning Winch into his hand and no other, do you understand? I mean, if I wanted, I could do it. Let's see, any other quests in this area? There are levees. Levimits. Levimits? It'll probably be a quick thing anyway. It's level 20. I'm level 20. Why don't we do it? And apparently I can do the next job. I have no idea what that entails. At all. <laughs> Levy's mats. Levy's mats. Alrighty. You can manually adjust visor. Interesting. Our when the adventurer's guild representative for the local levy uh, levy quests at the Morabi Dry Docks, is seeking adventurer to undertake guild levies. Greetings, adventurer. I am Our when a representative of the adventurer's guild. As the Levy Met stationed here at the Morabi Dry Docks, I'm responsible for assigning the various tasks that come from in from beleaguered locals. The work is not necessarily simple or safe, thus I would first gauge the limit of your abilities by setting you a trial assignment. Take a moment to peruse the task outline of this guild levy. Do you believe yourself up to the task? It's just kill crabs, and I get an earring. Neat. It's leaves, like leaf. But to be honest, I don't think they ever say it in a voice cutscene, so I have no idea. <laughs> Understandable. Most Megala crabs. So, yeah, it's just kill more Megala crabs. That's what the last one was, too. Sure. Let's go kill crabs! Very well, let's see what you can do. Uh, before you begin, I have a word of advice. Acquire some cores from the lightning sprites. Use the cores on the crabs, and you will soon discover which creatures are the big claws. Use. Give them. All right, lightning sprites. Use the cores on the crabs to identify and simply so weaken your guild levee. Give leave. Leve, leave. Tomato. Blood. But I wonder what job I should take on next. What's even in the area? Considering. Fate joined! I don't care. If I did more like. Multiple, like, like, a, uh, but what's the word? More duties. I wouldn't mind becoming a healer. But again, my aversion to people. Then again, it's probably be in the area for it. We'll need to go around you. Arcane epistle. Whatever language cannot be known. Limza has Arcanist and Rogue, but for anything else, you'll need to get deeper into the game. I guess that makes sense because some of the like uh, things that I could do, like uh, not do, but like some of the weapons that I could get from one of the quests was the similar thing, like Arcanist and Rogue. How dare you cast thunder on me? I am your foe. I am your friend, and I am here to kill you. More than likely, oh no, I got lightning charge, but I don't think th that's cores. Hm. I am fool. Oh yeah, I know. 
I'll kill you. Arcanus can be either DPS or healer post level 30. Interesting. Okay. I don't really care. Changing class during the course. Hmm. I am a little scared, so I shall just do two level plus. Let's see. I have no idea where, like, the... Like, cores would be. Or how do you even use them. So I'll just kill them! Because I am a terrible player! I shall dodge you! Like a good player! Dang it, the wild jackals are here. I'm here to murder. Did he dodge? Always be casting. Always keep it up. Oh, I win. I got hit by that. How dare. Game was like, you should use the lightning cores. I'm like, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I'll just kill him. Completed the task, have you? Then you need only collect your reward. Yay, difficulty. Speed completion. Yay. You performed admirably. I have no qualms about assigning you further work. With a Maelstrom warship under construction here, the military is eager to keep the Tardux safe and secure. They'd be glad to know a solid adventurer like you is around, cleaning up these problems one at a time. Huzzah. I think that's better than the earrings I had. Let's see. Seems definitely better. It seems has like some like intelligence in mind, but this is better for my overall like the class that I currently am. Alrighty, Leve quests, Leve Archia. Let's see. Once again, my where the heart is, but I can't even get a house, let alone the housing market of the game. I'm free to play. Investigate Wayne to defeat the creatures that appear. Yeah, that's over there, and the deliver. Hmm. All right, so we shall head that way, do that, and jump back in. All right. Or I guess we could upper decks, zoop, zoop, zam. One way or the other, we're going to get there and do things. Hmm. I think... That is pretty far away. If I want to get up here, to then go up here to do it. Can't even hold enough gill to get a house on the free trial. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Technically, <laughs> it's like, I knew there was something blocking you from getting the house in free trial. But I wasn't 100% sure what it was. What it was. Oh yeah, I forgot, I can sprint. The ultimate mount, yourself. Now I kind of want there to be a... Escort quest? Where a Lollafell just like, rides on your shoulders and you have to run... Through like, a bunch of enemies. That would be amusing to me. Especially if you were playing another Lollafell. Oh, the, the ideas is amusing to me. You also aren't allowed to have property on the free trial. It's 100% blocked off, so even if you have a friend with a house, they can't share it with you. Interesting. Understandable because, you know, free trial bots and stuff like... Like, that's the thing. 
considering that this game is, like, expansion paid and has a subscription, it would be very, like, rude to the normal, like, player base if free trial people could come in and mess with the, like, set-in ecosystem of things. Get three Lala Fills and a trench coat, and you could play as a, uh, gunbreaker? I assume that's G and B. I mean, as Joe Cat says, Gunbreaker is just like, uh, what was it? I forget the exact quote. I am a failure. I do not know random internet videos by heart. Except, oh my god, shoes. I am a failure. Three DPS and a trench coat, yes. It's foggy now. The eyes. Considering that we're walking through fog, I do not want to see a thing pop up just saying, The Eyes. What, is the Green Goblin going to appear in my mirror? The Eyes, Neon! We go for the Eyes! But yeah, we're gonna head that way, do the quest... Head back into Lamenza. Turn in quests. Eternally have Journey to the Mist in. Silent Hills intensifies. The Silent Hills have eyes. I forgot I can run. <laughs> He's just like. Duh, 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 duh. That sounded almost more like the Batman theme. Not the. Run. Dee -dee -dee -dee. However the breakdown goes. That's the wrong way. I'm a fool. I am here to murder more things. And more people. Because people are things. Because sometimes things can be people. I forgot. I have an auto run button. I've been holding W this entire time. <laughs> this is why I am not a... Magical MMO master. Because I don't know how to automate. Like, I know you can do macros. You can be like, I press this button and I do my whole rotation. But I don't know. I kind of like pressing the buttons. That's why I play video games. So I can press buttons. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> The thing is, I went on, like, a tangent, so <laughs> don't make a combat macro. <laughs> they don't work in 14. <laughs> I can see that. I like pressing buttons anyway. Run, my cat character. Run into the murderous murder murder. Ah, the roguish marauder raiders. Not marauders, because I'm a marauder and I'm a good person. But the raiders are doing their raiding again. But I am literally over 10 levels higher than they are, so I don't really care. They can kill the, the eternal murder of the yellow jacket, so I should continue. What the hell is that? Ah, it was a non loaded in thing. I thought this pot was a dead person. Good for uh, the pot. Master actor. <laughs> Something moving made it sound like, what the hell are you? Egg thief from the land before time. Nightmares, that's what you are. Plane strider. Let me be playing with you. Die. Be gone, plane strider. Go fly your own plane away from here. Alright. Now we shall head back into Limza Lamenza. Turn in the quests. I assume I'll turn in all the quests. All the quests are indeed there. Huzzah. And once again, make use of the auto-run, fool. 
The auto run exists because there is large distances to exist and you already want to be an artist. So stop like harm harming your hands. You save the day, Putus Cow. I am busy being a marauder. Didn't expect to see a cow cosplaying heavy arcanist in this game, but okay. Now I wonder what kind of cosplays exist within 14 itself. Like, if I wear this armor and this armor, I can be Colonel Sanders! I run through the fog. You know, you'd think that something called Plane Strider, there would be more striding the planes. Those were the only ones I've seen so far. <laughs> Gooboos in the fog are terrifying. I'm just gonna say it. Gooboos in the fog just slowly appearing. You're still on the list. I thought I killed all that I needed to. People do that. One of the servers actually has a Colonel Sanders. Interesting. Somebody could recreate the, like, McDonald's, Sephiroth, Colonel Sanders, someone else. The ultimate of everything. Let's go turn in all my quests. See if I can read the Limsa Laminza map today, Billy! Let's see. Both of them uh, appear to be on top. So I'll need to go up. I think. I assume. Definitely. I definitely need to go up. So. No, that's not the wrong person. I need to find stairs. Where are the stairs? I'll find them eventually. There's the lift attendant. That's stairs. Uh, take me to the drowning winch. Yes. That's why I clicked it. I know that there's a, a loading sequence. And you're like, oh, we want to make sure that people don't accidentally get thrown into the loading sequence they don't want so they don't have to go through multiple loading sequences in a row. But hey, I'm impatient. And I'll complain either way because I am a, I'm a jerk. That's why I play a cat person. Ahoy there, Neon! I've been here hearing about your deeds at the dry docks. And Brum laid out the entire tale for me. Poor Sod was still reeling at, uh, at his old man's part in the business. But at least you kept the victory from being sunk before she sailed. And for that, I owe you my thanks. You've really made a name for yourself here in Limsalas. Folk know that when they need something that something doing, eh, you need something doing. And what might that be? I have a cipher. You want someone to read a message written funny letters for you. And Grim Gim thought of thought I might know a man as good. Uh, let's see it then. I... I reckon I might know a canny bugger what can read stuff like this ugly soul by the name of Badrin. I think I run into Badrin. You know, you're one... <laughs> you're like one of me regulars now, Neon. You've never let me down yet, and Navigator or help me, I reckon I can trust you. Gim thought I was right to want a message, and it deciphered. We've got us some trouble brewing here, and no mistake. Get ready for action, and I'll explain. Okie doke. I still want to go turn in another quest, so don't you teleport me, please. I'll be right back. I'll go turn in the other one, because I know the other one won't. Because you never know. I, I, For whatever reason, I just don't trust games. Games, I fear them. I fear games. I can Once again, I can auto-run, and I keep pressing W. I am Le Fool. And now my brain went 
It was just like, what if there was a parody song of Brother My Brother from the first Pokemon movie, except it was Marauder My Marauder or something like that. That's a fancy robe. <laughs> ah, one of the Joestar family, I see. Once again, your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures you defeated, however, were merely some of the many base scavengers that subsist on the scraps left in the wake of Kajuta. Yeah, Kujata's. Rampages. To face Kujata himself, you yet require far more training. But do not despair, Neon. As Axe Master and fellow marauder, this I swear I will not rest until I have taught you how to wring every last ounce. Ounce? 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 Of power from your weapon. I don't know. My brain just looks at that word and is just like, something's wrong. Even though it's probably perfectly fine. Until the blade of your axe can slice cleanly through the thickest hide, the most knotted muscle, the densest bone, this menace will fall by your hand. You may find yourself drawn to explore the possibilities offered by other disciplines and guilds. These destructions are inevitable and perhaps necessary. But I urge you to soon return to the path of the Marauder. I do not wish you your age to dull just as you begin to show such potential. Fare you well, Neon. You have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist and the corresponding guild. There exist myriad disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. Alrighty then. I get an axe that isn't really all that much. I'll just go with this then. I get more random stuff. Gear sets allow you to save several different combinations of equipment and swap them at your leisure. A button for the gear set interface is located in the upper portion of the character window. This can be a very convenient feature for players who regularly switch back and forth between various classes, as well as for players who wish to have multiple ready sets of gear for different types of duties they undertake, such as PvP or instance raids. Select the plus button to register your currently equipped gear as a new set. Alright. Oh, that's probably the wrong one. I'm a fool. Very interesting. And I have reputation. I have zero reputation. Sadness. Probably because I haven't done any <laughs> duties, so nobody can commend me. Very interesting. But let's see. Adventure plate currency inventory. I'm probably a fool. Ah, it's up here. Gear set list. I'll go ahead and add that, because why not? Nice to know that there's like a... Just a thing that you can easily swap between them all. Axemester Wernzillen has a task for you to undertake. I see you have been diligent in your trading. You need not tell me in words. It shows that you're bearing and your unwavering gaze. It is time for you to once more lift your axe and service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Eoport in western Lanoskia. This monster is no Kaju Kujata, but the threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. Now, considering that the idea of like doing multiple jobs has been thrust upon me, I was like, ah, oh, this is why there's a bunch of levee mats and... Uh, fates to go around. How to find this beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Reinfred. He took up residence in airport some years ago, and I will gladly aid you in this task. With Reinfred's assistance, you are to track down this prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. May my murdering be grand. But we'll go talk to the drowning winch guy because... Just in case. Bibbidi bop.
But I wonder how long Final Fantasy XIV will persevere. Because it's done, like, pretty well, all things considered. It survived uh, a, a pretty bad launch, got Realm Reborn, and has been about for a super duper long time now. Good to have you aboard, lass. Now then, where to start? Batran has a task for a trusted adventurer, and I get a ring. That's worse than what I have. Nice. Back when I was a younger and nastier, I earned me living as a sellsword. In that business, if you wanted to know what your enemy was up to, you had to learn to read orders you prized from the cold dead and cold dead hands of his mates. That's how I came to know how to read your message. Truth be told, the script was only too bloody familiar. Them sagging letters, lass. And I should know I've gutted more fishback messengers than I could count. Remember to stay hydrated. I should make a, a preset of my expressions to, like, ah, I'm taking a drink. Immersion. It gets worse, though. The plan to blow up the victory is all in here, right down to the fine details. Looks like they meant to raise eight kinds of air in western Lanoskia, then it it the Maelstrom's new flagship in confusion. The point being, the attack on the victory weren't the act of a few rebellious pirates, "'Twas a key part of some canny bastard's grand plan. "'But if I'm reading this right... "'This all right... "'The attack itself came much too early. "'I'll wager they panicked when they saw he was one to them. "'Rushed in to do the job and buggered it up. Hmm, "'Them tattoo-faced bastards, as they would say, "'was paying Athburm's old man. "'There with the serpent reavers, right?' But none of the crews was there, was they? Do they have something better to do, or what? Seven ales, I've got it all backwards! That mess at the victory! That was meant to be a bloody destruction! The fishbacks ain't interested in the Maelstrom's baby! They're after men, just like they've always been! They're sending their pilot lackeys after a civilian target! This bit about raising ale in western Lanoskia. That's where it'll be. Summit tells me Swift Perch is about to get it in hard. So you want me to go hit them back? Punch them in the taint? Here's a rough translation of the message. Take it to Commodore Rayner at the Coral Tower and tell him he's in for a busy day. Uh, Sahagin Loveman noted. Ha! <laughs> oh, and give him a, an hand, eh? You can be damn sure I'll need one. Doesn't everybody love men? Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of in. That's in the neighborhood. Oh. I am. Hmm. Interesting. I am a fool. I almost missed the thing. Oh, and I can pick up uh, dibbity dees, jo job thingies. I can become an Omni Crafter, even though that probably takes a thousand plus hours. I can become a blacksmith and an armorer and a culinarian. I can become God. Hilarious that he's just up there, Rainer. Yes, I'm Rainer. Ah, you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part in thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? You bear an urgent message from Badrun? And why do I get the feeling that my hopes for a quiet evening are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is afoot? Thing. You're wearing a fancy hat. An assault on Swift Perch? Well, we see nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. Well, that came off of Dead Corpse that I killed. 
Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Badrin is rarely wrong about such matters. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Badrin's assessment that the attack on the Drydox is intended as a diversion, Swift Perch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir! Report. It's the Sahagin, sir. They mounted a large-scale assault on South Tidegate and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the Navigator. It seems my decision has been made for me. Must the troop... Must have the troops and give the order to march. Aye, the Serpent Reavers are in league with the Sahagin. Which means there is every chance this assault on Tidegate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it, and that leaves Swift Perch vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is, it is at times such as these that I wish the warriors of light yet walked among us, but wishes will avail us not, Icy Wings. You must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste and lend your strength to the squads. I can spare for the settlement's defense. And now we can just go there whenever. I guess I'll come about and grab these, like, an armor smithy at random times. So I can go to airport and faint and strike. To swift port I go. Port. Swift port. I go to swift port could probably teleport, but that costs money. My money. And spending my money is bad. I don't even know if I've bought anything with my gill. Down we go. So we can march and march, do things and march. The Ides of March. Bring me a Caesar and I'll provide 12 knives. We can all take turns stabbing him. Let us see. Do, 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 do. I shall go this way. Once again, keep forgetting I can just press the auto run button. I'm a fool. Keep on running. We'll make it there, I swear it, dear. And conquer the lands. As the god of this world. If this is Summerford, where's Winterford and Autumnford and Springford? They must all exist, else this is just angering. March, 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 march. Pass the bee cloud. Flying about with the Culeo Nimbus. The tiny towers. What even purpose are these towers? There's probably just like closets more than anything. We run through the grass and the enemies and the fools to get to people to murder. Because that is our job. Murder, but good. As it tends to be. Also, I do like the kind of like, you must serve in the stead of the warriors of light. It's just like, I think I know where this is going. It would be extra hilarious if the twist was we literally weren't a warrior of light. It's not murder if the good guys are doing it. Basically, yeah, just look at what measure is a mook. What measure is a giant megalocrab? 
What measure is a firefly? Pests to die. That is why they exist, to be murdered. They're on a hunter log. If they're not on a hunter log, what good are they? What well, else depends if they're part of a quest or not. Not all hunter logs deal with quests. Such is life. Such is Wesp E. It's like somebody was like, We have to come up with a fantasy version of a wasp. What do we name it? I've got an idea. What is it? Wesp. It's just such a stupid name. I love it. Also, if these things really existed, that would, that would just be utterly horrifying. It's like a stick bug mixed with a xenomorph. There's a reason why people are happy that fictional things are fictional. Why are you glowing? Commodore Rhino sent word we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met first off the ferry. Oh, hey, that's neat. <laughs> Get stick-bugged. Indeed. Get nightmare-bugged. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for here? This place, Swift Perch, it was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the Calamity threw their way. And we're not about to let some fish-fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke their spirits. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody elm, you hear me? Let's go murder. Let's go kill. Murder. Kill. Murder. Kill! I think I heard them loading in. Here they come! And you're just letting them in? Don't... Oh... Yeah, no. I thought all them yellow jacket worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't followed the plan, has he? Now what? Pull back and wait for our Sahagin brothers? Piss on that! We ain't turning back empty-handed. Why are you dressed, uh, like this? The yellow bellies ye can butcher at will. Them dirty eating slugs will be crushed under the full might of the serpent reavers. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all, eh? Squad one and two, protect the townsfolk! Squad three! You're our rear guard. The rest of you, we meet that charge where we stand. Let us bear the Commodore word of our victory, or no word at all. We're all we're, we all have axes. For Limza Lamenza. I'll gut all you yellow bellies and dance on your gizzards. Seriously, those pants are just not decent. Wrong button. Get him all! Oh, they're in the background. That's interesting. Get rid of all the enemies. And then we can deal with the big man. Big gone. Banris. Oh, more came in. Ah, this guy can die. I provoke ye. For I am the tank, and that is my job.
All right, you scary bastards. Is it a trick to make you soil your britches? Gotta smack this guy down. Keep pummeling him. That's what I'm doing. Oh boy, a blonga. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's our guy. So, or is it? I don't know. I have no idea of everything that's going on. It's utter madness. 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 That was just chaos. How many did I kill? Well fought. The Reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them lurking about, so don't you let your guard down just yet. Remember to stay hydrated after murdering a... I forget what it was called already. It ended with awe. Oh, hey, it's this asshole again. Gonna throw another golem at me. The source of her strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. I'm the main character. I fare well all days. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that may smite mine enemy. I think our, uh, this is just like a bigger version of the thing I just killed. But now it has like two swords. And legs. It didn't skip leg day. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. But I have an axe. Lesser gargoyle. It's lesser for a reason. I ain't scared of you. He's just over there being a man. Which springs the pre-natural might? Ah, you know, protagonist. The free trial. I don't fear no venom. I don't fear venom, I don't fear nothing. Now I come to beat you up. Oh, you stole us here. I wondered who it might be. I provoke you. Fight me, masked mage. I'm more powerful than you eternally. No mortal should have this strength, my dude. If no mortal should have this strength, then neither should you. And now you're dead. Lol. I am the victor! Damn it, he's not dead. Oh, where is he? That the wisdom of the paragons should be brought so low by mere mortals. Now we have his corpse. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the bringers of chaos, or Asians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they who have been manipulating the beast tribes. Pardon? You would know if we Charlians have encountered Asians before. I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know whence I hail? I saw your memories, I believe. Wait, I do begin to see. You've been blessed with a special gift. Protagonist Syndrome. Are you alright, lass? If I'd known a mean bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I would have left a squad of six to keep you company. 
Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those Reavers were the ones spiriting folks away in the dead of night, and this bastard here was pulling all the strings. A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. Yet we prevailed, and thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned much. I just realized your shoes are like elf. Elf pointed shoes. Aye, heroic is the word. I don't want to think what about what would have happened if you hadn't been here, friend. And your assistance is much appreciated too, Lady Ishtola. Please give our regards to the Scions. I'm glad to have played a role in bringing what I hope is an end to this disturbing spate of abductions. The thread of your fate seems a part of the most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap we will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see of this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Rayner. And here I thought we were going to run into the magical mage guy a third time. Pick up the- oh! Pick up the stone! Pick up the stone! It is the evil stone! We have elevated... For, oh, nope, it just... Uh, oh, that was, my joke got ruined. The evil stone went poof. I wanted to wield the stone of darkness! How dare they just be here doing donuts in the park? And I guess we'll head over there and do all of these. Well, do some of these. As we near the end, presumably, of... Well, the end of the stream, at least. Do a few more quests. Because we've been going a decent long time. Apparently, we finished a, a part of a storyline and the giant crab is already back! Yeah. You just can't keep a good crab down, apparently. How many times must I kill the giant crabs before they stay dead? Just how many times is a bird in the sky? Skull Valley. Well, that's welcoming. Ah, hunting log monsters to be killed by me. Die, hunting log monster that shall be killed by me. Can't hit me with AoE, that's my job. Who named you Puck? You are a silly fool, and now you are dead. As all silly fools must be. The payment price of a silly fool is death! Watch and observe as this filly, silly fool meets their end. Not a filly soul, that's a different thing entirely. Far stim. Hello. Yes, 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 Chocobo man. I talked to you. It's like, oh, do you know, not know how the Chocobo? I don't use you. Be on. You are the taxi service of doom and I don't like you. I presume that this is the right way. Apparently this is not the right way, but there is an etherite over there that I should attune to. I never use them. But I might as well attune. Because you never know. Look at that statue. Look at that delivery moogle. I don't know if I have any mail. Gasp in fear. Chocobo Man is here. 
Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why would they agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed, if I had my way, I'd be curled up under the canopy of a nice oak dreaming about some beautiful mooglet with a rainbow-colored pom-pom, Koopo. But no, the moon had to go and drop from the sky, causing all the terrible commotion. Eighth rites were shattered and the link pearls rendered useless. For moons, the poor wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs if no one really approved of Koopo. That is, until the little horned ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first, we were wary of showing ourselves, worried of, worried that one of you might catch us and skin us like you do every other forest furry. They have a point. But once we saw how much you were appreciated, we knew we'd find our new calling. And I personally promised to try not, and not read any along the way, Koopo. New, no new letters for me. Profound sadness. I have no friends. All right, Scribbild. Scribbild seeks the age of an able-bodied adventurer. You look like an adventurer who gets around. Mayhap, mayhap you have noticed the cor corals and jackals at each other's throats of late. I've never seen anything quite like it, and the bloodshed only worsens by the day. If this continues, I dare say that one of these groups will be wiped out of the other before long. Now it bears mentioning that the species of coral isn't native to Vilbrand. By rights, that shouldn't even be here. Nay, I believe they were smuggled. I know of a merchant who may have handled these dealings. Her, excuse me. Her name is Reconte, and after some probing, I've come to believe she's somehow involved. I would get a question her myself, but she is like to flee at the first sight of a yellow. That's where you come in. I need you to speak with her and learn all you can. Take a look around. She's bound to near be ba 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 ba. Is the other leather yet? That's what I want to talk. Where is my quest? Is he in? Is he behind? Is he inside? There is an inside. What a war since girls are ye? Why, I, I've known that sprat since he was a knee high to a. Well, he was always kind of a big fella. Was worms in. And now they call him Axe Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you have to hunt down our local travel. What you need to do, then, is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The main bugger you're after his name's Patrepatan. By the by, we'll come running across the weeded plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see? So you better have the cleaver of yours ready. Oceans, blessings be upon ye. I guess I can take you and do it whenever. Adventures Guild represent blah blah blah. You need a work class. The name's Orwin, and I'm a representative of the Adventures Guild. Notice that? I keep record of tasks that the locals need to and then dole them out to adventurers that look capable. Now you look capable, but the last sword I reckon was tough good enough got his face bit off by a bleeding wolf rat. You need to prove me, uh, to me you can handle me jobs. Take a look here. Yep, 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 I know. Oh. Mimaroon little sparkly shinies. Let's see, but Mimaroon cannot be going home. Mimaroon afraid, bad bandits will take Mimaroon sparklies. Is there not kind of venture to keep Mimaroon safe? Mimaroon shrimp. I'll take it and I'll activate it at some other point. <laughs> you need to beckon your client, Mimaroon, to help lead him to his destination. Use the beckon emote to lead your client to safe destination. You may need to, find to add the emote to your hotbar before... <laughs> that was hilarious. And I can activate that whenever, whatsoever. I'll go like cats and dogs. Didn't do that. Just see about things. I'm I'm wearing red, which is like the opposite of yellow. Also hilarious. Like, she'd flee at the first sight of yellow. Yellow. What's this? So they sent you to do their dirty work. Well, you'll never take me alive. Never. Lol. Am I gonna have to fight a bunch of people? <laughs> that is a <laughs> danger area. Such malvolent aura. An unknown assailant emerges. Thuggish cell sword.
why he's even wearing yellow. This lady has no standards. Your cell sword is dead. But please don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing wrong. I smuggled the corals for breeding like you asked. But that's it. I ain't blowing sending the jackals into a frenzy, I swear. I had the old jacket sent you and, uh, and no, not no pirates? Why the hell didn't you say so earlier? Ah, well, you've caught me. I'm behind the corals in Aleport. Those good-for-nothing pirates let me breed jackals for them, too. With the right training, they make for nasty watchdogs and the like. But the pirates wanted more, and that's why they asked me for corals that they did. I smuggled them in, but the pirates took them before I could finish the job. Suppose they didn't want to wait for the breeding, but the buggers let them escape. Now they have jackals on the loose trying to get rid of the corals and clean up their mess. I'm a victim as well, you know. I they paid good coin for the animals, but now they got folk chasing for me, wanting to cover their tracks, I'm sure. You hurry and tell those yellow chickens I get to blame you here. And now a poor cell sword is dead. Kind of hilarious. I killed a man today. Ah, you're back. What can you tell me of Ricante's dealings? She claims to be a victim as well. Hm. It was a greed that brought the corals to Vilbrand, and she is sorely mistaken to think the Elegex will turn a blind eye. Mark my words, she will be held accountable. At any rate, we know now that why the corals and jackals are tearing each other to shreds. The pirates have been quite careful not to leave any clues, but we've managed to capture Akante's assailants. They've been questioned as we speak, and it won't be long before we track down the pirates. Don't worry, friend. The Yellow Jackets will see them brought to justice. In the meantime, there's still a matter of Akante and the beasts running amok in the fields. I shudder to think what may happen should the Jackals and Corals continue fighting for much longer. I have a plan, but your assistance is essential to its success. Let me know when you are ready to begin. All right. That's two. Plan into motion, I get a wolf pup minion. Interesting. <laughs> Idolizes one Gaius von Belsar for obvious reasons. I do not know those reasons. Use item to acquire the wolf pup menu. minion. Interesting. Raconte is admitted to breeding jackals of pirates, but I fear she may be concealing more to be smuggled elsewhere. I bid you speak of her once more to prove my suspicions true. If she wishes to play the role of the victim, perhaps this time she will be more forthcoming with the information. Tell her that although we cannot grant her a punity, her cooperation will show a lighter sentencing. And Coral Kitten! Yay! On an ongoing investigation. Now then, we need to do something about the corals running wild in Villebrand. Jackals have greatly reduced their numbers, but the presence of corals will upset the balance of predation in Aleport. Given time, they will establish breeding population, perhaps even prey upon more than just animals. A large number of merchants, sailors, and travelers pass through Aleport daily, meaning a great many of people will be at risk unless we stop the corals here and now. And much as it pains me to say, they must be done away with. I'd like this to know more than you, but we yellow jackets must put the safety of the people above all else. Reports indicate the corals were last sighted somewhere in Skull Valley. When you're ready, pray seek them out and do what needs to be done. Is she gonna run off again? You'll never take me alive! <coughs> the yellow jackets want to know if I'm hiding more jackals. Ah, fine, I'll come clean if it means preserving me liberty. All the jackals are long gone, but there's a wolf pup I was looking after not too long uh, far from here. Jackals are easy to come by in Aleport, but wolves? You can be sure the folk will pay good money for them. But the old jacket's breathing down my neck of late, though I haven't had time to take care of him. The poor thing's probably too weak for hunger to move. I'll tell you where I hid him, but if you want to take him, best move now. What with the curls running wild, killing the pirates, jackals and all? It won't be long before they start snooping about for more animals to train. I have to warn ye, he may be a pup, but he'll likely have a meal of anyone who gets too close to him. Try winning over his stomach with this here, sucking the bone. If that ain't enough, try rubbing his belly to soothe him. You can uh, bet he'll be following you everywhere. Off the curtain quarterstone, hurry before he pirates find him. And quarterstone. Off I go to get me a wolf pup. And then a giant monster came out of nowhere. Multiple monsters came out of nowhere. What the hell? Am 
ain't doing that. I have a, I have a pup. Do I even have? Fine, I'll kill him. I'll destroy them, I suppose. They got in my way, and now they must die. Be gone, giant thing that dies easier than the puck hatchlings. How do these things even get here? They're so big. You'd think they would have been, like, not here. Oh, sure. It's like, oh, the, f the field striders are the big monsters. Meanwhile, these exist. Kill them so fast they can't even do their diddly dee. Kindly die. Be gone, Satan. Their bodies keep getting in the way of my vision. Kill them because they targeted me and therefore their entire families must suffer. Be gone, Satan. You shall not survive. I'll kill you all so badly you won't even exist in a few seconds. Die, monster! You do not belong in this world. You weren't even here five seconds ago. Come here, big man. You have a date with death. How will I ever pass? You could try running. Running is a viable answer. I soothe you, dog. Have bone. The casting time of bone. And now I soothe. Soothe at the start of the pop. And now I'll go to Kyrgios to kill the curl. However you say that. Again, it's like there's a C and O and E and a U all together. Those letters don't belong together. It's a nightmare. Here's a demon. Remember to stay hydrated. When the letters come to take your family. It's always the letters. Just like the lettuce and the dusk bats. Why is this seemingly harder than the giant elephant monsters? And you're just like hunting log fodder. A hundred and ten. Is 
that a baby curl around a dead mother? Sadness. That's nightmare. Stop targeting me. You cannot target me. I am a citizen of the world. It was very rude. Mew, mew. Hey to the poor child. The big girl looks at you affectionately. Fear me, for I do not fear you. You cannot kill me. I am the protagonist. That is why I'm out here killing animals. Do not question it. Imagine if there was like actually a buck, a, a buck, a book where the main character just like goes out and fights a bunch of animals. It's like, you're supposed to go and save the world, but animals must die. My nemesis, the bat. And then he gets reverse isekai into Gotham, and he fights the Batman. Is that gonna be enough? It is enough. Hunting log and level up. Fear my proficiency. I have done many things. I heard from Reconte you went looking for a starved pup and quarterstone. Did you have any luck? Here is the boy. So, this pup Reconte has been hiding. Well done. She was here not long ago, as a matter of fact. It seems she's willing to cooperate with the authorities and help set things straight. But that's all, not all, friend. While we were searching for this pup, a group of pirates related to the investigation was taken into custody. We couldn't have done it without your help. The ringleader has yet to be found, but perhaps now Airport can enjoy a moment of respite. All that remains is what to do with this pup. He seems to have taken a liking to you. Hmm. Perhaps it would be best if you looked after him. There's simply no room for him at headquarters, and letting him wander about on his own is out of the question. I realize how sudden this is, but please, give him a good home. He even has a bandana. Minions! You've obtained a whistle which uh, with you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, you must first use the whistle. Once you've used the item, a new entry will appear in your minion guide found under character in the main menu. You can either initiate the actions from this menu or drag the icon to sit it in one of your hotbars to initiate it from there. To send your minion away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time, and the whistle can no recast timer. Once you have learned the summoning action, you'll never lose it, and it can be used with all classes or jobs. While minions do not generate any enmity, neither will they participate in battle. If you are KO'd, your minion will simply wander off back to wherever it is at rest until you call it again. Hmm. Interesting. Untradeable items. Duh. Unique items. As this item is special, you can never possess more than one. Welcome back, adventurer. How did you fare against the quarrels in Val Skull Valley? Uh, there was just a dead one, and I killed two dogs instead. I saved a cat. I see. So this baby quarrel is all that remains. It is truly a shame it came to this. Most of the jackals died fighting against the quarrels. But it would seem you slew the pirate's last litter while saving this one. Let us at least take solace in knowing the bloodshed has ended. There is a bit of good news to be had, however. I have received word not long ago that a group of pirates related to investigation was taken into custody to instigate such carnage without scruple. The true animals in this case have been placed behind bars. With any luck, their leader and remaining members will join them shortly. But what to do with this baby quarrel? He seems quite fond of you, almost as if you were his mother. Hmm. The yellow jackets are not fit to care for a quarrel, especially when full-grown. But we cannot simply release him back into the wilds. 
I suppose there is only one option. Friend, I leave this baby Quirrell in your capable hands. I'm sure you will do what's best for him. He even comes with his own bell. I shall summon my minions. Ah, you can only have one at a time. Kind of interesting that they're like, here, have two minions. I find it funny that they're called minions. Well, let's go do our class brutal strength thingy. And then we will end the stream after that. That is horrifying. It is like an ostrich that wants to kill. But I'm here to kill it. I do not fear you. You should fear me. I got animal hides. Huzzah. You definitely take after the dinosaurs, don't you? Do the Orzia even have dinosaurs? I'm sure I'll find out eventually. I'll probably fight them! I joined a fate and I didn't even want to. Die, Rothlight Pelican! You're an ugly bastard! I have heard that immensely many times that death sound. This is the thing everybody was worked up about. He was pathetic. that are relatively done but I think that that shall be it for now we've been going for three ish hours we got a lot done we leveled up a decent bit I think we got like five or six levels today we also visited new areas we finished up the disappearances serpent reaver kind of storyline. We beat up the mage that we ran into last time and summoned the golem. And this time he summoned a a gargoyle. And then I kicked his ass. It was wonderful. Lots of grandness. We can even get like jobs and classes. Is there a difference? Oh, let's see. Because we can have uh, yeah like we can get a new playable class. And then a discipline. I don't know what I'll do. Because there's lots to do. Uh -huh. We'll have to go and explore. I have no idea what this is. But we shall do things next time. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all of these streams eventually end up. A kind of archive channel, if you will. Already up there is like the likes of which uh, is Digimon Survive. Some Undertale, some Mass Effects 1 through 3, some Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, just lots of games up there that will and others that will slowly be added to it as well. And if you're one of those people already watching the archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Although I am, like, potentially, like, debating if I want to, like, uh, try streaming on YouTube. So perhaps it might be a good idea to follow me on Twitter to get a notification of when I go live proper like and stuff. And speaking of Twitter, if you'd like to see more of my little... Art I friend down in the corner. You can 
Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and new grounds for art that I totally make every now and then. I try to make more. All of them are at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.